Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all something pretty awesome. Now, this has been around for a while, however, I was waiting for the official driver update to come out because I didn't want to do any remapping or anything like that. But today, on June 5th, in case you do not know, Microsoft has finally released the official Xbox One controller drivers for Windows. This should be working on Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1, and today I'm going to show you all how to install them. So first, all you need is an internet connection, an Xbox One controller, and a micro USB cable. If you have all three of those, you're good to go. First off, what you want to do is you want to come over to MajorNelson.com. I'm going to have the link for this down below, and you want to go ahead and pick which version you have of Windows. So if you have a 32-bit system, you're going to pick x86. If you have a 64-bit system, you're going to pick x64. Now, I have a 64-bit system, so I had to pick x64, but you just want to click one of these and download the driver. Now what you want to do, once you have the MSI file, you want to just go ahead, double-click it, go ahead, hit accept, install, and wait for it to install. Now, as you can see, it's finished and it has installed the driver on your system. So you just hit finished. Now, just connect your cable from your computer to your Xbox One controller. And once it does that, you should get a message right here showing that it is installing your device. And literally that is all there is to it. Now you might be asking, Mario, why can't I just hook up the controller as is? Well, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 8.1 do not have native drivers for the Xbox One controller. Therefore, all you need to do is download this file right here, run it for a few seconds, let it install, and then you should be good to go. Now you might also be asking, Mario, what about support for the Xbox One controller? Well, Microsoft has said there might be some issues here and there. They didn't say that, but they did say that any games that use a 3 60 controller should be fully compatible with the Xbox One controller. And the way you will know if the Xbox One controller is working is if you have a light on your Xbox One controller. If the regular light on there, the only light on there is lit up, you should be good to go. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go ahead, hop on Steam, and play Borderlands with a few friends because I promised I'd play it with them. But, anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone.